fuck boys always ask for pictures oh my god that is the most annoying thing when you start talking to a guy just start crossing your fingers and be like please you must for pictures if he asks for, if he asks you for pictures imagine just block him like that conversation is not going you want picture for what also fuck boys send dick pics funny story i have never received dick pics <laughs> Hello people of the internet, welcome back to my channel, Joyce Miner here and today I am going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to do a get ready with me um, video as I revisit um, an infamous topic about the fuck boy. Honestly guys, like why, like let me tell you this topic has made me like enemy number one with like the boy child. I don't know like why you guys are like so sensitive. I don't know, you don't like being told how it is. Like a lot of you caught feelings, but you know what? It's fine. And I know you wanted me to do a video about how to spot a fat girl, but here's the thing. I talk about things or like I write about things that I know. I've had more encounters with fat boys. Please don't ask me why that is going to take years of therapy for me to figure out. But don't ask me, I've had more encounters with fuck boys than I have with fuck girls. But you know what? I'm doing my research and that video is coming up soon. So um, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how I do my everyday makeup look without foundation. Step one, I usually, um, I've already filled in my eyebrows using eye pencil. Guys, my eyebrows, I don't, I don't wake up looking like this. Like, don't be fooled. I do not wake up looking like this it's all a lie okay so yeah i've already filled in my eyebrows with um what's it called with eye pencil just regular like eye pencil mine has just it's a shirt but yeah i usually use brown eye pencil because black eye pencil can makes them like too dark and it looks like unnatural so what i usually do is i use the eye pencil and then i use um a brow brush and i go in with black eyeshadow just to like go over what i have already done to my eyebrows just to make it a little bit darker but in a more natural way point number one about how to spot a fuck boy they don't take rejection very well if my last video was proof of anything i don't know why guys like get so defensive like when you tell them no like imagine like i'm not i'm not attacking you by telling you no like i've ever been somewhere and like a guy is like um like tries to like highlight you you know like nah i'm not interested and then they start saying things like all right whatever it's not like you're that cute anyway um you thought i was cute two seconds ago when you were trying to get my number so now that i've said no all of a sudden i'm not cute I get out of here yeah so now i'm just going over what i have already done i think you can already tell the difference between the one that has the eyeshadow and the one that doesn't so it's slightly darker but not in like a weird like after a white kind of way and another thing ladies like your eyebrows are not twins they're sisters they can't look exactly the same so if you try and spend hours making them look exactly the same you're just gonna end up looking like a clown Speaking of clowns, <laughs> fuck boys are actually clowns. How do I know this? Because I have been to the circus enough times. Again, why? I don't know. Years of therapy will help me figure this out. They're usually very, they're a lot, they're intense. And this is what I meant by um, guys who like look you like in the eye and like that, like they look like they're trying to like look into your soul. I wasn't saying don't look a girl in the eye when you're talking to her. That's actually respectful to look a girl in the eye when you're like, talking to her but you know guys who are like so intense like immediately you meet them they're like oh my god you're so beautiful i've never met a girl like you like everything's just fireworks fireworks fire like they are doing the most and the reason why they are doing the most is because they know they won't be around for long if someone is coming on too strong like don't do it sis um a real relationship should it should be a build-up it's not it shouldn't be fireworks because the fireworks will end it should be like a slow like think about like lighting a fire you know when you're lighting a fire it starts slowly you see like some smoke then some sparks then the fire will keep you warm for a very long time that's what it should be like not just fireworks fireworks what yeah all right so step two for the makeup tutorial is concealer so i usually have um 
two different shades of concealer and I'll explain why. This is the Fit Me Maybelline concealer. I like it. It has a really like nice smooth like it's very smooth on your face and it's not too much. So I have it in shade 45 which is one shade um, lighter than my foundation and I have it in 40 which is two shades lighter than my foundation. This one I usually use when I put on foundation but because today I'm not um, using uh, any foundation I'll just go one shade lighter with the concealer. If, you, if you're using foundation it's easier to blend out into the foundation but since it's just your skin don't be too extra with it and then you blend it out with a blending brush a regular foundation brush whatever works for you so another thing about um fuck boys is they never text you during the weekend you know i used to think it was like so sweet when like a guy texts me like on the weekend or like wants to hang out i mean not on the weekend on the weekday he wants to he wants to hang out with me on a weekday he's like oh i'm like oh he's probably tired he's already had like so much work but instead of going home to do whatever he wants to hang out with me or he wants to talk with me <laughs> let me tell you why he's doing this because during the weekend he's on the prowl he's looking for another you to be lying to during the weekday to keep him entertained and then during the weekend he doesn't have time for you because He's on the prowl. I'm not saying every guy who texts you on a weekday is like a fat boy, but like watch out. It's it's all about patterns. If he has a pattern of only talking to you like on a weekday and at a certain time during the weekday, like probably like um at night, you know, he just wants to tell you, um, yeah, come at I'll 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 make you dinner and we can chill and whatever. Hmm. It's because he knows on the weekend he won't have time for you. He's going to like look for someone else to lie to. So sis, don't fall for it. Et voilà, I can already see the difference between before and after. Like my dark circles aren't that dark anymore. Point number three. They do this um, technique called bait and switch. I know some of you are like, Ate what? It's very simple what bait and switch is. They'll do this thing where they like sell you on the idea that um, they want to have a relationship with you or, or, or that they want to be exclusive with you. And then once they get what they want, they're like, I'm out. And you start saying things like, um, oh, if we had a dog, I would name it ABCD or this is, oh, he's, he's making plans for like three months in advance and you just met him. And of course, as a woman, you're going to get excited. We love this shit. When you start saying we, 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 that's our favorite French word. When you say we to Konzani your box like we are inside and the problem i have with that is you're you're already making me build castles in the air like if you walk into a situation and you're like yo this is just casual sex we're just hanging out it's cool but if you sell me on the idea that this is a long-term thing and then a few weeks down the line you start acting funny and start telling me that you weren't even that serious anyway blah blah it drives me insane if you want to see a girl go crazy you know sometimes you're the reason why we act crazy because sometimes you look back at all the texts you sent us and all the things you said about we and making plans about us and being like i can't imagine my life without you and then all of a sudden we were just friends with a little bit on top so, like you know some stupid shit like that like honestly we fall in love with our ears okay you know, sometimes like when you see like a really peng babe and you look at the dude, you're like, the hell that does he have? Luga, language, that's what he has because we fall in love with our ears. Again, if you're wondering who hurt me, the male species, it's a long list. Do you want me to share it? Some of you will see your boyfriends there. Step number three, um, I will go in with a, this is definitely one of my favorite like makeup purchases like so far. This is the Zaron Mattifying Powder in shade 20. So I will use this to just uh, apply the powder all over my face. Honestly, at this stage, like you're already done. It's just that, you know, I'm extra and I'm going to put eyelashes and all of that stuff. So uh, point number four about how to spot a fat boy. When you ask them why they're not in a relationship, their answers are usually so ambiguous. You know, like they don't make sense. <laughs> It's okay who wants to me because sometimes let me tell you something i read something somewhere about um when you're dating someone it's important to find out how they were raised 
because that's how they were probably that's how they learned how to love or how or what love is again it all it all boils down to patterns like there's a reason why their relationship before didn't work and the one before that so i usually like take my time to figure out what a guy's pattern is so when i meet a guy who checks all the boxes and he's still single that's a red flag i'm like why are you still single and sometimes like their their answers make sense maybe he was hurt he got out of a situation where he trusted someone and it's very hard for him to trust again those those answers like make sense you know but like these ambiguous things like there's a guy <laughs> wait joyce you have met a lot of clowns yo there's a guy who told me i at you know i just like to float around you i i i, I what did he say something about G doesn't like to do the responsibility of being in a relationship but he likes the idea of the role like somewhere does answers but you know what i did again i fell for it yeah so if he's giving you ambiguous answers about why um why he's still single red flag all right so the final step for my uh no makeup makeup look is the eyelashes I don't know how to explain how to put on eyelashes cuz I kind of like figured it out as I went which is a, which is the, everything about makeup I just figured it out as I went I just went and watched tutorials and I tried stuff if stuff if stuff didn't work for me I'd remove it from my routine if it did I kept it like highlighting and contouring I have never gotten it as in I don't know why like I just don't understand that step maybe I'm not patient maybe I just don't need it What I advise you to do is just go and look at tutorials about how to put on eyelashes for beginners. Um Jonna Kinuthi has a very like nice tutorial for how to put on eyelashes actually. She has was one of the videos that I watched when I was figuring out how to put on eyelashes. But just know, once you figure out how to put on eyelashes, you will never look at yourself the same ever again. All right, so eyelashes on. I know I look like a completely different person so final step is a uh, lip gloss or lip balm this is one of my favorite um it's a lip gloss and lip balm combination by Colleen Cosmetics and this is really the final step it makes a huge difference trust me and this is my um i woke up like <clears throat> sorry i woke up like this face oh wait i have to remove this thing from my head because Also guys this wig is from um Makeup Cloud. Okay, they have very nice um semi semi human uh wigs. This I actually got last year and it serviced me so well literally a whole year later. My final point about um how to spot a fuck boy is they never make actual plans with you. Like If if you're always one who's like texting him uh, t- texting texting him fast or like trying to make plans and then he cancels last minute like literally like a day before like a few hours before the date that's a fuck boy they never come up with like solid plans and be like yo so when are you free we should hang out someone who actually wants to hang out with you will be like yo so are you free friday night we go for dinner we go for a movie you go for like but if they're just like the ones for yo are you free it's like let me tell you they've probably sent that text to like five other babes don't see who will reply first that one replies first it's your lucky day or rather unlucky day because you're going to be hanging out with a fuck boy who's making you think like he's a real man which he is not and for those of you who might be wondering i feel like i should have started with this for those of you who might be wondering what a fuck boy is let us just ask a band dictionary so that you can see if you fall in this category of fuck boy or not So according to Urban Dictionary a fuck boy well there are many definitions but this is one of my favorites a fuck boy is a guy with the body of a man and the mind of a perverted teenager he has no heart just a penis that he uses to paint the town <laughs> That has to be the best definition of a fuck boy i have ever had honestly because fuck boys act like children You know the way children like they like the way a kid wants every toy that they see. That's what a fuckboy is. 
Like they will be with like a painting, but then they see another painting, they're like, oh no, maybe that one is better. Oh no, maybe that one's better. You know what? Actually, I want all of them. So Monday I'll play with this one, Tuesday I'll play with this one. That's actually a very good um definition of a fuckboy. But then number one definition of a fuckboy on Urban Dictionary, it's kinda long. So um also this is Urban Dictionary. I'm not like cursing or like putting curse words that are not there. <clears throat> An asshole boy who is into strictly sexual relationships. He will lead a girl on and let her down, then apologize, <laughs> only to ask for pics once the girl has wel- welcomed him back into her trust. Can't believe I actually missed that point. Fuck boys always ask for pictures. Oh my god, that is the most annoying thing. When you start talking to a guy, just start crossing your fingers and be like, please don't ask for pics, please don't ask. If he asks, for, if he asks you for pictures, imagine just block him. Like that conversation is not going. You want picture for what? You have the internet. You can go and look for naked pictures, like girls in like bikinis and like lingerie and like naked. Like why are you asking me for pictures? Like that is such a deal breaker for me. Once you start asking for pics, X, Isa, Isa no. Also, fuck boys, send dick pics. Funny story, I have never received dick pics. I know, I know, it's so hard to believe. Cause I'm sure guys are like, oh, but your DMs, yeah, my DMs are just full of like some weird things, which I will talk about later. But I have never like received dick pics. So for all the women out there who have received them, I am truly sorry for you. Like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't, can someone please, my friends from, um, Blani, Blani. I will, I will post their, their channel on my descriptions. But please help me understand. What does sending dick pics? How does it help? You think it helps your game? I mean, it's not exactly the prettiest thing to look at. I mean, don't get me wrong. We all like it, you know, as heterosexual women, we like it. But it's not exactly the prettiest thing to look at. So stop sending dick pics, please. All right, guys, that is it for um, today's video. Um, I hope you found some of my uh, tips about uh, makeup, uh, my no makeup look helpful. As you can see, I look very, I woke up like this. This is my, I woke up like this face. <laughs> anyway, I hope you found it helpful. And also, um, I know today's topic was a bit uh, PG-13, but like, honestly, like I said before, there's no way of saying fuck what you're not actually saying. I mean, I think back in the day, the word for it was like player or like lover boy or something. But like we're in 2019, so I'm going to use the lingo that is appropriate for 2019. And boy child, come at me. I know, I know now I've pissed you off even more. But you know what, guys? I actually have so much love for the boy child. I just want you guys to be better. That's it. Honestly, I have so much. Like, majority of my friends are guys. Some of them are probably fat boys. Which is probably why I'm always like, yeah. I guess you're attracted to like what you find familiar. Shout out to my friends at Blarin. I said it right this time. I said it wrong the last time. Listen, I'm a Kikuyu. If you put so many L's and R's together, it's bound to like get me mixed up. Shout out to all my new subscribers, all my day ones. Thank you so much for keeping it here and like not getting bored of my nonsense. Honestly, you watching my nonsense makes me want to make more nonsense and obviously um don't forget to interact with me on my uh, social media handles which i will put down here and i will see you in the next video Bye.